This is the news and brief from the United Nations. The risk of injury and death is three times higher for ambulance teams working in Ukraine compared with other health workers, the World Health Organization, WHO, reported on Thursday. Emergency teams come under fire from Russian forces both while responding to emergencies in civilian areas and while on base. During the first quarter of the year, the UN Health Agency's office in Ukraine verified 68 attacks, with nearly 20% aimed at emergency medical services. Nine of those targeted medical bases, seven resulted in damage to ambulances and six caused damage to other emergency equipment. In three of those attacks, four health workers were injured and two professionals were killed, a casualty rate nearly three times higher than those suffered by other healthcare services. WHO's definition of attacks is wide-ranging, from harm caused by heavy weapons to psychosocial threats and intimidation affecting access to healthcare for those in need. Commenting on the findings, Dr. Jemu Habicht, WHO representative in Ukraine, said the grim number underscores the pressure on the Ukrainian healthcare system and reiterated the agency's urgent call for the protection of healthcare workers and patients, as well as the uninterrupted delivery of essential health services. Israeli settlers conducted 704 attacks against Palestinians in the occupied West Bank, including East Jerusalem, since the Hamas-led attacks on Gaza last October, the UN Humanitarian Coordination Office, OCHA, said on Thursday. In total, 17 Palestinians have been killed and more than 400 injured, the office said. 40 houses were vandalised and almost 10,000 trees have been damaged, OCHA reported. A total of 428 Palestinians, including 110 children, have been killed by Israeli forces in the West Bank. Ocha's findings show that between March 26th and April 1st, Israeli forces carried out some 155 search and arrest operations across the West Bank. At least 1,244 people, including 600 children, have been displaced due to settler violence and access restrictions, the report says. During the same period, 16 Israelis, including five members of Israeli forces and seven settlers, were killed and 111 injured in the West Bank, including East Jerusalem. And finally, the UN Human Rights Council on Thursday passed a resolution extending monitoring of alleged violations in Iran by another year. The decision by the 47-member body came with 24 votes in favour, 8 against and 15 abstentions. It underscores the commitment to comprehensively monitor the human rights situation in Iran following the protests that erupted in September 2022 after the death of Masa Jina Amini in police custody. The resolution extends the mandates of the independent rights expert or special rapporteur and that of the independent fact-finding mission established by the Human Rights Council. With a special focus on the rights of women and children, the resolution calls on the Iranian government to fully cooperate and give unhindered access to independent experts, which it has so far failed to do. Matt Wells, UN News.